Hey guys, welcome back. I'm uh, super excited to be here. Um, I'm in Omaha, Nebraska, and uh, it's been so crazy. Um, I hope you guys are all doing awesome. I hope you all had a great Valentine's Day, and um, I'm super excited to make this video for you guys. I just wanted to say thank you all so much for subscribing. Um, I just look today and I'm like over 300 people and I'm like oh my god I can't even believe that like 300 people are even interested in what I have to say so um, thank you so much and again I know that it's been a little while but um, I'm happy that you guys are here and my hair's all crazy I just hopped out of the shower and it's like <laughs> um, but yes thank you thank you thank you so much um, so today for the video that I'm making for you guys, I did promise you guys an unboxing last time, but I did happen to bring with me the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit um, Deck Guidebook by Kim Kranz. I do, as you guys happen to know, I do have her known tarot deck, and it's I love working with it, and finally able to purchase the Animal Spirit. I was like, this is it! Um, I do have to say I have been really, really looking forward to opening this with you guys. So, with that said, let's do the unboxing. I wrapped it out of the plastic only with that. So, um, it, it comes with the sleeve. This is this is the cover, and oh, it's so cool and very textured and metallic-y and, like, multicolored, very, like, snakeskin reptilian. Love it. This is the back where she gives you, like, a little brief description. You do get, like, a little... Um, sneak peek at the cards that she has in the deck for you. Um, it is manufactured or distributed by Harper Elixir. Package designed by Sue Barber and Kim Kranz. And text and artwork by Kim Kranz of The Wild Unknown. So uh, it says here on the box it was $39.99, but I. To be quite honest with you, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think I did buy this on Amazon, uh, if I happen to remember. And I think they had a little bit of a special on it. So I believe it was a little bit less. I think it was maybe only $35 or $30. So I know that there was a price. So the sleeve actually comes off. And this is the actual box. It's really nice and smooth. You have your animal spirit. Here, printed on the spine, um, your symbology um, for the cards, and then right here, well, obviously you have your little gator eye, and it's magnetic. The box is pretty sturdy. If you're if you purchased her Wild Unknown Tarot deck, it's 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 pretty much the same thing as far as packaging wise. When you do open. The book, it has May You Always Be on the Inner Quest, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so now, time for the Pierre de Resistance. <laughs> so this is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Guidebook, which is the first thing that you pull up from the box. Really nice book, kind of matted, smooth. It's paperback, which is nice and flexible when you need to flip on through. Um, and then you can see some of the, how it's laid out as far as the design. Um, one page is the depiction of the card. The next, um, the description. So here you'll have what the title of the card is, the symbology, kind of like um, the summary, and then she goes into depth about what the card is about. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. The book is about 207 pages. I have to say it's really nice. Oh, it's like that new book smell. It's fantastic. I love it. Oh, it talks a little bit about the deck. A process of natural selection. She does have like a card a day spread and a past, present, future, which is really, really nice. Um, uh, the path, the obstacle, and then a relationship spread, like different spreads that you can do, which I think is really, really cool. And, um, you know, for you to establish more relationship with the deck. And then, of course, the year ahead spread. That's pretty awesome. I really like this. 
I really, really, really do like this. Uh, and then she talks about, right here she says, uh, she talks about the food web. Um, and then, like, the predators. So, this is pretty interesting. Kind of like how the rabbit, uh, the rabbit eats the grass. But the rabbit can be eaten by the wolf, the eagle, the hawk, the owl, or the snake. So that's pretty interesting. I'm really looking forward to what that means um, going into the book a little bit more. So now, time for the cards. Oh, that's pretty cool. At the end of the box, just kind of like on the wild, and now she has like a little infinity symbol. So that's pretty awesome. So here is the deck itself. This is the box that comes in the box. Uh, again, it's like that metallic, um, graphic, multicolored, textured cover. And then again, the back with the symbology. So I'm just popping this guy open and pulling on the ribbon. And out comes the cards. Yes. All right, guys. Time for the good stuff. The good stuff. All right. Let's see here. Oh, this is cool. So the backing of the cards, again, it's like that same printed material on the inside cover of the book, which is like, oh, it's textured design, but everything's smooth, but it's nice and light and silver, which is really nice. It's matted. It's very smooth. Cardstock, I would probably have to say, uh... Not super heavy, I mean, like, as you can see, like, you could probably shuffle them really nice, but it's not, like, you know, it's pretty good. It's like regular, it's like her, her other wild, the wild unknown, um, deck. Um, I like these, like, different, the different sim symbols that she has on these cards, though, they're pretty cool. Um, this looks pretty awesome, guys, I'm really excited. This is the raccoon. It's got like the little elemental symbol. I have to say this is really well printed. The deer. So it's all the earth, earth animals. The dragon. Now this card is different because this card has like the O, like the infant, like the O sign up here, and this symbol is holographic. And I'm wondering. Let me just go back in the book real quick to see. It's spirit, so like spirit animals. So like mythological, like phoenixes, dragons. Oh, that is fucking cool. Oh, I love that. That's so cool, there's mythological animals on this too. Okay, so this is the dragon. Oh God, my screen went black. Sorry for the quality of the uh, video, guys. I'm filming this from my laptop, and it's it's a pretty old laptop, so bear with me. The cheetah. I kind of scrambled these all up because I didn't want it all to be in order. The camel. I really like that one. That one's pretty. The swan. So, like, water signs now. The whale. That's really cool. The Phoenix. And again, it's like that holographic on the top with these spirit symbols, with the cards with the spirit symbol on it. The Bear. My favorite animal. The Turtle. Water sign. Frog. That's a really, really pretty image. The colors, I'd have to say my computer isn't doing it justice. Um, they're really bright. It is very well printed. I do have to say. The peacock. Like, it looks so subdued on the, on the screen. But in, you know, in real time, in real life, it looks... It's stunning. It's absolutely like it's the colors are just so vivid. So these are the the air, a few of the air symbols, the hummingbird, 
which I actually found a uh, mine fine, but at my house I had a um I put out the sprinkler system and a hummingbird appeared and I'm like, Oh my god, there's a hummingbird like just flying through my sprinklers and I've never seen a hummingbird before, so I was so excited. The firefly. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep it as still as I can so you guys can see. The sea serpent. That's pretty badass. Really, really cool. The horse. The croc. Oh, dial. That's cool. I have to say, like it's it's illustrated really really well. If you do, if you love working with like animal spirits and like uh, animal energy, this is the way. The unicorn, the shark. I like how his is his water sign is filled in. That's pretty interesting. The panther. pretty cool. It's a mean looking panther. That is not a docile panther. The moth. And some of these animals you I wouldn't even think of putting in a deck like a vulture. You know? The fire ant. Like it's pretty unique. It's it's a pretty unique deck. The lamb. I even like the text down here because it's kind of like handwritten, but it's still like a, a serif almost. I like it. The cosmic egg. Very, very cool. Oh, the elephant is absolutely gorgeous. The rabbit. I mean, like a beaver. <laughs> Dragonfly. Very diverse. Very, very diverse. Gazelle. Crow. Wolf. <laughs> And of course, you know, there has to be a lion. Very majestic. An oyster. Bat. This one's interesting. It's called the black egg. A mouse. Owl, Nightingale, Spider's pretty cool. I like that multicolored web. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. There's a, f oh, this, this one's pretty cool. Stingray. It's almost like the different uh, colored chakras, you know up and down the spine. I'm just gonna skim through some. Oh, this one's beautiful. It's a buffalo. Yeah, that one's really nice. <laughs> An otter. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He's so cute. Oh yeah, a tiger. The octopus. This one's so cool. The earthworm. I would have never thought about putting that in a deck, but that does make sense. There's a, the golden egg. Reminds me a little bit of Willy Wonka. I want the goose that lays the golden eggs. The bee. Sixty-three card deck, so it's almost like a full tarot deck. 
very rare because it's like a, about 72 so this is pretty cool so yeah again this is the um sp the animal spirit wild unknown deck I uh, have to say very very beautiful I am my first impression of this unboxing is that they're very beautiful very well printed very well manufactured and very well packaged as far as packaging material and keeping them like I love these I love these boxes like these sturdy magnetic boxes because I will keep them to store these cards especially for moving or things like that this is awesome I highly highly recommend this deck especially if you want to start uh, working with um, animal energy and this, it's just so interesting I just love how she has like different some unusual selections for animals especially in a deck like the earthworm especially um, and you know I love the fact that she has like these uh, mythical creatures in there as well like dragons and phoenixes and unicorns and things so um, I'm really really looking forward to working with this and uh, I'll definitely keep you guys posted or, or just comment below on how it is to work with week working with these working with this lovely deck and getting to know it a little bit better again thank you so much guys for tuning in uh, I can't wait to see you next and again have a lovely lovely day and until next time mwah, ciao